What up, players? Wobos tear up in this mud. Okay, I'm tired of waiting. I uploaded this last night. Painting Isabella, part one of two. Warning, no annotations yet because I was going to be... I, I figured out I'd probably be leaving the house before I was done rendering and stuff, so I didn't want people to watch it. And it turns out it's like something like an hour long, or maybe a little bit under, 50-something, which is just as much as my ogre's real-time painting lead belcher and my skeleton video were but um it's it's not rendering it says it's uploaded it said it's it's processing but and it says there are two views because i went to check it out and i can look at it myself and um but but you can't watch it like if you're trying to just go to it from my page but check it out i can i can click on it and it will play from the beginning oops zoom out a little bit it will play it does play hello hi what up players but come on load you load oh look at my screen my screen is so messy see so it does it does play but it's just not rendering so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up this other video right now the one that I'm doing and show you what my video looks like and oh, I'm so sad because <laughs> because it took me so long to film all this. So, look, it's uh, 54 minutes. Um, I show you how I mixed the pink for my Isabella. I show you what the steps were. So, basically, I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna have to do is show you what she looks like now and just kind of take you, do like a gorilla version of my, my tutorial. So, so the first thing I did was I mixed the pink with Mechrite Red and Skull White and I show you this, I'm using the clamshell that she came in and I just put some water at the bottom. I talk about how I kind of wish I had parchment paper. Uh, if you want to make a good wet palette, just one of these clamshells, put a little bit of parchment paper at the bottom and put some water between the parchment paper and the clamshell and it will keep the top part of the clamshell nice and nice and uh, cool and the, the liquid when you're mixing paints and thinning down paints will stay a lot better. So, so I'm not gonna play it in real time, I'm just gonna show you, this is, you know, this is the video, it's on YouTube somewhere, so uh, write your congressman and tell them you wanna see this video. Until then, I'm gonna have to tell you what I, what I painted, and uh, hopefully I get it pretty close and accurate to, to how I did. So the first thing I did was I painted my War Boss Tay pink, because I had to make it myself, in, on the lacy frilly, uh, frilly skirts on the inside of the model. And um, I also painted the cuffs on her sleeve. So I'm gonna take it away from here now and. Uh, oh, saw a little bit of my messy desk. I'm um, gonna cut this off for now and we'll go to my. I, I gotta adjust the camera and adjust the space on my table. And then I will uh, continue from there. Okay, so like I said, because of the predations of the warp, um, I don't know when my video is going to be coming on live. Uh, I'm just going to have to show you. This is my Isabella now. She's about 70% done. And I want to finish the video tonight. So this is going to be part one of two. I showed you what I did for the pink. So basically, I painted my War Boss tape pink into the into the folds of her skirt and let's get nice and close so you can see the detail and then I just added progressively more white at the bottom where the fringe is so as you get closer to the bottom you're gonna add more and more white and then I shaded the pink at the top where the folds are where each of the folds are I shaded that with Leviathan purple so right where each layer meets the next layer down Okay, then for the, I, I also painted, you're gonna have to paint her, uh, her thong there, her little frilly thong with that same pink and highlight it up with more and more white. And you're also gonna be painting the frills of her, her cuffs. So I'm looking at the monitor on screen so it, it might go out of, out of focus. So you see the cuffs for the two sleeves are the only other parts that are pink, these cuffs right there. Uh, also, after the pinks were done, then I painted white, so I, I highlighted up the white of her frilly underskirts. 
at the bottom where all the holes are, where, where it li really looks like lace. And I'm gonna probably add a little bit more white, and then I put white as the frilly trim of her <clears throat> of her thong, the thong, thong, thong. So after the pink and the white, then I decided to do the skin, I believe, which is Deneb Stone. So you see her legs showing on either side, right there, and then also her lady bits up here. Get all of that in Deneb Stone. You're also gonna paint the hair Deneb Stone as well. So all the way across, even in the back of the spooky spinal column, which I decided to paint in, in metal. So Deneb Stone for all the skin and all the hair. And then to shade the skin, I did a mixture of really watered down Leviathan Purple and Ogryn Flesh. And then I painted those into the recesses, like where, uh, like her neck and in the curves and the, um, like her cleavage and where the, the lining of her lady bits meet the, the armor. And then I highlighted back up with Deneb Stone and leave the shading just in the recesses. For her hairpiece, I started highlighting up with Commando Khaki. And what that does is it gives the, it breaks up the Deneb Stone color so that you have two very distinct pale colors, the paleness of her skin and the, the wig color. So Commando Khaki is for her wig right now. And then I decided to paint the skirts. So the skirt and the sleeves, all the red parts, were based in Mechrite Red, which is a foundation paint. And then to shade it, what I did was I put Badab Black into all the rips and the tears, as well as all the recesses. And then in the darkest darkest recesses like where it's really really dark like down in here and at the deepest parts of the the folds like in there I painted in a sermon blue which is a wash color you can also water down regal blue mix in a little bit of black and then you get this really nice deep dark blue color for the flowers on her skirts as well as pinning her her, her skirt on. I painted the blossoms of the roses in regal blue and then I highlighted up with hawk turquoise, ice blue, and then skull white. For these brown green leaves I painted Gretchen green actually because I couldn't decide what color the, the one on the GW website was. Speaking of the GW website, I used it as a basis for my model. So if you see this girl in any of the battle reports, then you'll see that she matches kind of close to the GW standard, except for this ribbon that's holding her her dress on. I decided that the pink of the GW Heavy Metal Team standard was a little bit too... I don't know, it, it blended in too much for my taste. So I decided I'm going to go completely opposite and paint her ribbon a baby blue color and I think it, it worked out really well. To get this effect I painted hawk turquoise and then I highlighted up with ice blue and I you'll notice that I edged the I edged the or I, I painted some fine highlighting on the edges with skull white and I mixed ice blue and the parts that looked like they were hitting the, 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 the light the most, which means that you still get this deep, dark hawk turquoise color in the folds and in the shades. You paint on some ice blue in the middle, and then you use the splat of your brush, and you highlight on some really fine skull white. Like, really, really fine. You don't want too much paint on your brush for the, those fine highlights. And that's how I get that effect. I'm sorry I can't show that to you in real time. I did it in real time, but like I said, the the predations of the warp got got it and then I, I used the same kind of method for painting the roses and highlighting the roses up I started with hawk or regal blue then hawk turquoise skull white um, ice blue and then skull white so far the the green browns are just Gretchen green as it is okay for the corset and uh, the corset we haven't really highlighted yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. The gold, the metallics, what I decided to paint was, I believe, Tau Sept Ochre, and then Shining Gold right on top of that. So for the chalice, for this 
bat symbol on the front, her choker, and these two little bat motifs on her boots, as well as the this part of her weapon. There we go. Painted that gold, as well as the spooky spinal column on the back of her wig. That is also gold. So again, for all of those, I started with Calcept Ochre, which is a foundation paint, and then I painted Shining Gold. For the front part of her headdress, I decided to go with bolt gun metal. And then I did the roses and the green uh, leaves in the same color as the rest. Let's see, what else did I do? So far, the, the blood in the chalice is just mechrite red. We'll, we're going to highlight that up in part two. And I believe... The only other bolt gun metal piece right now is the sword. We haven't highlighted that up yet, so it's still just straight bolt gun metal. I believe the only other thing to to tell you about is her cloak. Her cloak I just painted in Camry Brown, which is a nice soft brown color, and then I washed it with Devlin mud. And that was it for the cloak. So the next steps for part two of two is we're going to continue highlighting. We're finally going to get to highlighting the armor, the blacks of the armor, and we're going to finish highlighting or washing and highlighting the gold and doing the gemstones, finishing the blood in the chalice, painting some makeup on her, and that will be it. So this is the redux of my Isabella painting part one of two. I'm really sorry that I can't show you the real time one. Hopefully one day like the Tiger Claws, Space Marine Chapter, the, the video of part one, how to paint Isabella von Karstein in fine cast will, will make its way out of processing and be up there for all your viewing pleasure. But until then, sorry, you're gonna just have to, to listen to, <laughs> to the colors that I used. And if you have any questions at all, let me know. I'll put up annotations, but um, the only difference I can see in this video really is that I didn't show you the actual paint pots because I, I put them all away to clear space on my desk and you know it's just a hassle to get them all out and heartbreaking because I had already I'd already painted so much but um, the most fun you're gonna have in the beginning I think is mixing up a pink color your pink color and using different quantities of paints to mix that was that was a lot of fun for me my my war boss tay pink I think games workshop used to come out with a pink color but if, if you don't have that, it's, it's a lot of fun to mix, mix your own as well. So, I hope you'll stay tuned for part two, the thrilling conclusion when we finish our Isabella von Karstein model, and we'll see you then.